told her to hurry down to the command center because they just got a tip, so we're freaking out right now. Hello and welcome to True Crime Rocket Science, the most authentic voice in true crime. In this episode, we're going to re-examine the last photo of Summer Wells. We're going to look at what happens when we reorientate the photo, when we sort of straighten it up a bit, what happens. I want to thank Tector Gorch, by the way, that's not his real name, for the source of this photo and others that I'll be sharing with you soon after this. This is a quote from him. He writes, I have some info I can share, but I want to make sure it's okay to do so. The last thing I want to do is publicize something that could hinder the official investigation. I assume the TBI slash FBI already knew that swimming location, so I don't think there's a problem sharing that. After all, the guy who did with the Twisted T video already showed that. I will share the milk jug still that I adjusted in Photoshop. I think it's important to look at it with the proper orientation. And so in this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the things we see when we simply rotate that image. Before we get to that, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please do like, share, leave a comment. If you want to subscribe, you can click on the icon, the blue icon on the bottom right of your screen. And let's get started. Right, so this image that we've seen, typically we see it in a pretty weird orientation. It's um, kind of cropped in or it's rotated to some extent. But what happens when you rotate it so that the horizon of the back seat is in line with um, the horizontal, right? So in other words, the back seat, the line of the back seat is um, properly aligned, right? So I don't know about you, but to me, it gets a, a haunting new perspective as soon as you do that. To begin with, Summer herself appears slouched over a great deal. As soon as you see it rotated to that extent, it's really, um, sh she seems to be very asleep, uh, more so than in the those other photos. Would it be more or less natural for her to lean her head against cold milk cartons than to curl up on the seat? You could say, well, the seat belt would prevent her from doing that. Would she normally wear a seat belt? Wouldn't she lean her head against the door panel? And there is another photo of her, I don't know if her head's leaning against the door panel, but she's um, sort of pressed right up against the side. Um, I know I did that as a child. I would often sleep with, you know, even flying in an aeroplane, I would sometimes, even today, sleep with my head against the, 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 the side panel. She could also have used part of the sweater flap. Is that a hoodie for that, you know, as a sort of a cushion? But the real question is, is she sleeping? So the fact that she slouched over more than than it appears in those other images makes one wonder what is what condition is she in. In this image, we can also see she's wearing long trousers and a long sleeve shirt. We know it wasn't a particularly hot day that day. It was 78 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 26 degrees Celsius. That's the maximum. We can see sunlight on the right side of the rear seat and above it. Um, yeah, above it, above the rear seat is clearly a red vehicle. Maybe because there was sunlight coming on the right hand side, maybe she wouldn't have wanted her head in the sun. That's certainly a possibility. But then she could perhaps also put on the hoodie, if that is a hoodie. But can you see that is clearly a red vehicle behind them? Is that the red vehicle that has been spoken about? Is that the red Toyota Tacoma 1998 to 2000 model? Is that the neighbor's vehicle? Is that an arm above the seat slung over and around the back? Something else Tector Gort said that I'm quoting here is he says, taken with the disturbing video by the grandmother when Candace asks her if her arm is still up, then expressed mild disappointment that it wasn't. And she said, that's what I wanted to catch. Um, 
it does give one a sense of disturbing implications of this particular image. Do you agree? So I wonder whether this particular image wasn't taken to exonerate Candace. So if Candace did something and she was taking this footage to sort of show that Can that Summer is okay, and of course she wasn't, or to show that she was okay when um, things were starting to be not okay. And there's a something of a an analogy to this in the Chris Watts case where Shanann texted him a little bit past seven o'clock and said, can you send me photos of the girls in bed? And then he never did, right? And I think the reason he never did was because he was worried that exactly this would happen, that people would look at those photos and wonder, are they alive? Um, why aren't they in bed or what is going on, you know? So I'm going to follow this video up with the location of the swimming hole. This is also provided by Tector Gorge, so look out for that. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you guys next time.